Now after Curry House synthesis there will be some trivial reactions. Trivial reactions like we can get alkenes through reduction of other compounds. One of the reactions that you must be aware aware of from high school, if you take a alkene or alkyne for that matter, and we carry out hydrogenation of these unsaturated hydrocarbon. So because they are unsaturated, they will absorb more of hydrogen and give corresponding alkene with same number of carbon, with same basic structure. Now alkyne since it has two pi bond will absorb two mole of hydrogen, alkene it has one pi bond it will absorb one mole of hydrogen. Nevertheless both will give you the corresponding alkene. So this is one of the trivial method to get alkane from the corresponding unsaturated hydrocarbon. We can also get alkane due, uh, uh, by reduction. This is a reduction process because hydrogen is added. More commonly this is called as hydrogenation but this is a kind of reduction reaction. The hydrogenation is a kind of reduction because hydrogen is added. Addition of hydrogen is considered as reduction. If you have alkyl halide and we add zinc in dilute hydrochloric acid then we get a alkane corresponding alkane and then we have zinc ion and we have will have this X minus ion coming out and we'll also have this Cl minus ion right but this will give us the alkane the reason is zinc is an active metal and zinc has a relatively relatively lesser tendency to form a complex so zinc loses electron zinc forms Rn plus 2 and those two electrons go into the antibonding now this this thing will be happening over and over again in most of the reactions and you must be very comfortable with this idea now but whenever you have an active metal the first thing that you have to know that active metal will lose electron and that electron will invariably be going into the anti-bonding of an atom which is attached to a good living group because when electron goes suppose these are the two electrons this electron goes into the anti-bonding then the living group from the front side can come out so this electron will go to the anti-bonding of that atom which is attached to a good living group so as such I am showing it to be going into the anti-bonding of R but this R is comprised of carbon and actually this is the anti-bonding of one of the carbon in this R group but we show like this so this two electron will be going into the anti-bonding of carbon from the front side the electron will come out into the orbital of X and this X will come out so what we have is X minus and R minus and this R minus will snatch this hydrogen actually this HCl is a strong acid so this will already be ionized so this H plus will be floating somewhere in the system and this R minus will grab that H plus and form RH because R minus is by no way stable so wherever H plus is available even if H plus is not available from anywhere from moisture from the solvent R minus will somehow get a H plus if we are adding a dilute H plus then there is already H plus in the system and R minus can bond with that H plus to give us RH so this is a reduction because in RX we have effectively added hydrogen and removed halogen part so this is a reduction of alkyl halide resulting in alkene now the point to be noted here is this HCl has to be dilute we cannot increase the concentration because when zinc loses electron that electron in the mechanism I have shown to be going into anti-bonding of R now that uh, that electron could have very well gone into the orbital of this hydrogen and that hi this hydrogen could have shown this reaction accepting electron forming H dot and those two H dot combining to give us hydrogen gas as we have seen in Kolbe's electrolysis now, in order to avoid this reaction because if this reaction happens this reaction won't happen if this reaction won't happen we will not get alkene so actually 
if we increase the concentration alkyl halide will remain as it is and hydrogen bubbles will come out so we don't want hydrogen to participate in the reaction so we want to decrease the reduction potential of hydrogen so hydrogen will preferably not accept the electron if the concentration is very less if h if this rx if this alkyl halide is present in more concentration so this will be surrounding the zinc so this will be surrounding the electron that will be released out of zinc so effectively that electron will quickly go to the orbital of r rather than searching for a hydrogen right that's why hcl has to be kept in a dilute concentration so this is about reduction this is how we can prepare uh, alkane via through from alkyl halide now this is a reduction of alkyl halide through zinc now alkyl halide can be reduced through ready made powerful reagent like lithium aluminum hydride lithium aluminum hydride is a complex of aluminum now we will study this reaction uh, this reagent in a great detail later but at this juncture i'll just tell you that this is a hydride generator this lithium aluminum hydride produces hydride ion h minus and that h minus is utilized in the reaction now we can use sodium hydride as well in sodium hydride we'll have na plus h minus now lithium aluminum hydride is a much superior reagent than just sodium hydride because sodium hydride is not a complex this is a complex sodium hydride when we put in our system that na plus ion and h minus ion will part away so the ionic bonding is not there so this h minus ion will be very undisciplined it will show undisciplined reaction reaction would be violent this is a complex this releases hydride ion in a controlled manner so the reaction happens in a controlled manner how that happens we'll see later but somehow this is the idea behind lithium aluminum hydride it's a costly reagent so it produces hydrogen hydride ion in a controlled fashion this much to know would be sufficient for at this at this point so lithium aluminum hydride produces hydride ion in a controlled fashion and that hydride ion will replace will effectively show a sn2 reaction will knock out this x minus and will give you rh right i'm not writing the side product just for brevity and simplicity somehow this is the idea i'm just introducing lithium aluminum hydride for you another reagent that you must know here itself is sodium borohydride now this is a aluminum complex this is a boron complex both belong to same group but there is a difference in reactivity aluminum being more electropositive than boron this is a more reactive more strong reagent because it is more electropositive it is not able to hold this negative ion or neg a negative charge on this hydrogen because when it forms a complex basically hydride ion will be putting electrons into the orbital of aluminum one empty orbital 3p Sim uh, similarly empty orbital of 2p or in in boron so because of more electropositivity that negative charge is not stable on aluminum so it is dying to throw away that hydro hydride ion which is putting electron into its orbital so for that reason lithium aluminum hydride is a more strong complex more reactive than sodium borohydride now we will compare these two reagents and we'll see different kind of reactions shown by these two reagents later but for the time being both are hydride generator one is a strong generator another one is relatively weaker generator but both are hydride generator both generates hydride in a controlled fashion and the product would be the same fine So this is uh, how we get alkane through reduction process